Good morning and welcome to this week's Godly Play story for our children. Godly Play is published by Church Publishing Corp. This is the story of Julian of Norwich. The church usually remembers her during the season of Easter, a time of the color white. I wonder why we remember Julian. Let's see. Not very much is known about Julian. I don't know where she was born or what her family was like, but we do know that she was quiet and her way of coming close to God was to be by herself. She had a little stone building made in which she lived all alone by the church of St. Julian in Norwich, which is in England. The church still stands to this day. Her little room was destroyed by bombs during the Second World War, but it has been rebuilt just like it was. Julian was not always alone. Many say she enjoyed the company of a cat and people came to talk to her because they heard that she was very wise and holy she wrote down some things about god in a book called showings it was the first book to be written by an english woman or in english by a woman She wrote how one time God came to her and showed her something no bigger than a hazelnut laying in the palm of her hand. She wondered what it could be. God said, it is everything that I have made. She wrote, I was amazed because it was so little. Why didn't it fall into nothing? God said, it lasts and lasts and always will because God loves it. So everything lasts because of God's love. Sometimes when Julian was thinking and writing about God, she called her mother. She called God her mother. She was not the first to do this, but she did so with great care. She wanted to unite the motherhood of God and the fatherhood of God because, because God is bigger than either word about God. She said that in the Holy Trinity, fatherhood means power and goodness, while motherhood means wisdom and lovingness. She had so many questions about God, but the answer to all of them was that whatever God does is done in love, and that all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. It's in the 13th book of Revelation, chapter 27, 13 chapter. Julian remained in her cell until she died. We remember Julian because she was quiet and wise for God. wonder what parts of Julian's story you like the best. I wonder what part of the story is the most important. I wonder what part of the story is about you or where you may be in the story. I wonder if we could leave any part of the story out and still have all the story that we need. Let me show you what's inside this book, booklet and how you might work with it yourself. That's your story.